stop, stop, stop right where you're at. I'm, I'm tired of this. Shit. I'm telling you, you guys aren't going to skip. Do not. I've had too many comments this month of Noah. I cannot catch a fish. I made a lot of posts saying, no, guys, what's your biggest fish? A lot of people said zero. They haven't caught any. I mean, they haven't caught any. Now, this is the video that everybody has been hiding from you. Guys, yeah, so, <laughs> oh my God. I'm watching this back through, and I seem pissed in this intro. I, I'm not pissed. <laughs> I seem so mad. I was like editing this back. I'm like, I seem super irritated in this intro. I'm not mad. I was just trying to be like straightforward with you guys, but it just came off as I'm like super mad. But this video is probably one of the most valuable ones I'm ever going to post on my channel. So take the time out of your day if you have some time and please watch it. You're going to learn so much out of this, even if you're not having trouble right now. And this, I promise you, will help you guys so much. And I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. Drop a comment down below on what type of tip videos you guys want to see and I'll get them out to you guys. Listen, I keep it real here on Kicking Their Bass TV. My main goal since I've started this was to help you guys out. In this video, if you watch it closely, don't skip. Because it makes me mad because this, I'm literally going to take you through on how, like if you guys are fishing, you know, Noah, it's 20 degrees, it's too cold, the fish aren't biting. It doesn't matter. They will eat exactly what I'm going to show you guys to rig up today if you guys throw it the right way and this is going to help you guys catch fish this month 100 percent next trip you go on you take everything i talked about and you will go catch fish now let's go ahead and hop right into it so i've got so many comments this month no i just cannot catch fish no it's 20 degrees is tough this is going to be the best way to catch the fish we're going to go out to the lake that i'm going to which is a pond i'm going to describe how the bottom is i'm going to describe where the fish are laying out people hide this guys people on youtube don't want to give away how they're catching fish plain and simple they can give you all the tips they want but they're not going to tell you straight up this video is straight up so we're going to talk about one rig today and it's the drop shot okay this time of year the fishing's tough today in particular the pressure is higher than i've ever seen it i've never seen the pressure this high since i have been fishing my whole life and i'm that is dead honest truth i'm being straightforward with you guys today because i gotta catch your attention so you guys can actually listen to me for two seconds without getting bored and and just try this this is all you need we got some finesse drop shot weights right here okay clean and simple these are lead ones it's 316 sounds there's 13 of them in a pack Pay five bucks for them, okay? Some regular drop shot hooks right here. Clean and basic, a couple dollars right here. The combo that I'm throwing it on is a Pro TI. And you guys are probably saying, Noah, why are you throwing a drop shot on a bait caster? Um, I would suggest throwing a drop shot on light spinning tackle. Um, the line I would suggest is 10 to 12 pound fluorocarbon. 10 is probably perfect, especially if you're vertically dropping. I really wouldn't suggest throwing it on a bait caster, but me, I'm very stubborn. I'm going to catch the fish how I want. And uh, my spinning rods, I need a new line on them. So therefore, I'm going to be using this today on 15 pound, but I'm throwing it out. I'm not vertically dropping and, and we're going to catch them on it either way. Let's go ahead and talk about how to rig this up real quick. I'm going to cut this off of my rod real quick. It's going to take me about two seconds and then we'll hop right into it. This is a very important step, so don't skip this. Don't think, oh no, I know how to tie a drop shot. There's something on this that's very important that if you're not doing, then you're gonna lose a lot of fish. Guys, I'm cutting you straight. I ain't trying to be rude, but I'm, I'm cutting y'all straight today, boys. All right, I'm gonna take my worm off my hook so you're not gonna get confused. We got our small drop shot hook. We're gonna go right through the top, okay? Boom, hook's facing up. Notice that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my tagging very, very large. I tied the uni knot. I have a video on my channel if you want to learn how to tie it. But I'm going to make a very long tag in. I want to make my leader around 12 to 15 inches. We have her knot tied on her hook. Now what we're going to do, this is our tag in. It's very long, as you guys can tell. It's about two foot. Okay? This is important. This is what you guys need to do. You're going to take your tag in. You got your hook sitting up like this, okay? I'm trying to put it on my white shirt so you guys can see it. There you go. All right, you're gonna take your tag in and you're gonna go right back through the eyelid, okay? And you're gonna pull that tag in all the way back through the eyelid. Now watch this. You see how your hook is facing straight up? There's no, it's not sideways, it's not facing down. Your hook is straight up aligned with your line. So when you lift up on this drop shot, that hook is gonna penetrate right in that fish's mouth. That simple step right there, with you putting that line back through the eyelid, will help you catch 
if you get 15 bites, it's gonna help you get all 15, okay? If it's not like that, you're probably gonna catch five out of those 15 fish. That's very important. So now, we're gonna leave this tag in about, I'm gonna say 14 inches, what we're gonna aim for today. 14 inch leader, from your weight to your hook. Now we're gonna get one of these 316 ounce standard drop shot weights. Stick our line through. You pull it tight. Now I'm just gonna do two loop knots to tie this thing on. Since you're down, we're good to go. I'm gonna cut this tag in. There we go. We got the best drop shot rig that you can possibly make. Got a regular hook. We're gonna be lip hooking our bait right there. 13 inches down, we got our weight. Right there, that's the rig that you're gonna be using. Now I'm gonna catch you guys at the pond. I'm gonna show you the worms that I'm using. Just gonna be simple and basic. And now I'm gonna show you how we're catching these fish because this is the important part is how to catch the fish right, this guys, time. Just made it out to this beautiful pond. We're gonna rig up real quick. I just got a basic little worm right here. Basic little drop shot worm. This one's in black and blue. Black and blue green pumpkin work out here, pretty basic. So this is the hook that I got right here. All you're gonna do is just nose hook this bait. Just like that. All right, that's all you gotta do. So now I'm gonna show you guys coming out to the areas on how to find these fish during the winter. So when you're fishing these small ponds, it's gonna be the same with the lakes. What you wanna find is the deepest point of the place that you're fishing. So whether it's a ditch, whether it's a little hole, whether you got some rocks out there, some structure on the bottom, whatever it is, those deep little crevices, those bass like to sit in this time of year. So what you're wanting to, if you see a little ditch, what that fish is gonna do, see this is the ditch, He's gonna sit his body right in the bottom of that, okay? If you're fishing a place that has a lot of grass, still has a bunch of slop, what I would suggest throwing is like a weightless Sanko on an EWG hook. I have a video on that if you wanna go watch it or I can make a new one, because I have a little bit more to talk about that. If you're fishing a place that's really flat, you know, there's not really any drop-offs, it's shallow, the whole thing, what those fish are gonna do is still pull up onto that cover. So the lay downs and all that stuff that's on the bank, those fish are gonna get on. But if you have any areas that have deep drop-offs, those fish will be stacked in there. And you guys are probably saying, Noah, how do you know that a place has deep water? Well, coming out here, I count down my cast. So I beam it out there and I count down one, two, three, four, and I figure out that fall rate to figure out what the depth is. This pond has a lot of deep water. If you look right out here, there's a pocket back in this corner, okay? Right here is a flat, about a hundred foot out, going all the way down this stretch. So right here, you got that stretch, it's flat all the way out hundred foot. Then right after that hundred foot, it goes like this, drops off, okay? So it's about five foot right here, drops off to about 10 to 12 foot. Those fish this time of year are gonna sit on the edge of that drop off. You can't catch them on that drop off. Like today, it's hard for us to get our baits out that far. Those fish are gonna get on the hard bottom. So on this flat, there's certain little areas, certain little chunks of hard bottom, my bad, of hard bottom, and those fish will be stacked on there. This time of year in the winter time, it's important that once you catch a fish, realize why you caught that fish, okay? Because this time of year, the fish stack up. So if you have a little deep hole and you catch one, there's another one. It's always a rule of thumb. I can fish this whole pond, won't get any bites, but there's a couple spots out here that are gonna hold fish. So let's go ahead and get out here. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm working this and why those fish are sitting there. All right, so we have our drop shot, about 12 inches to 15 inch leader right here. You're gonna have to experiment with it to see what those fish want, because you will get bites depending on the leader size. Drop off is way out there. So what I'm gonna do, beam a long cast right out there. Right where I just landed is exactly where that drop off is, okay? It's gonna be about, right where I landed, it's probably about eight foot. Up on this flat, it's about five foot. That three foot drop off in shallow water is very important. There should be fish sitting out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that drop shot hit the bottom, okay? Once I let it hit the bottom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reel up my slack and just barely hop that thing, okay? Barely move that rod. So what that worm's doing is just barely fluttering, okay? Then I'm gonna let my line go slack. Show them that, Delton, right there. See how my line slack? So look. This is what that worm's doing. I was hopping that worm, and then I let that line slack, and the worm slowly falls to the bottom because that weight's on the bottom at all times. So when you reel up your line, that worm comes to the top, you're fluttering it, and then you let it stop, flutters down. That's a great technique to catch them this time of year, okay? If you guys are saying it's just so, so tough to where you can't get bites, I would suggest dead sticking it. So, you know, just lifting up, shaking it a little bit, 
and then just let it have slack line and let it barely fall and just leave it in that same position and this fish will bite it. But uh, it's important to find that hard bottom up on these flats and if they're not on these flats to get on those drop offs in those little holes. So we're gonna fish around here and I promise you there's gonna be some fish located right here. All right, so we threw off on that drop off. I've been fishing this flat. Last time I went off, you guys saw one of the previous episodes right where I just casted, there's a hard bottom and it's only about five by five. I don't know what it is, but it's, I mean, it's only yay big. And there's fish that are sitting all up on it. So I just cast it by it. We should get bit in the matter of probably 10, 15 seconds. There should be one right here. Give me one second. I'm telling you, watch this. This cast. There should be a fish down there. Cause I know there's, they stack down there. You know, there's so many that sit on that. That's what you got to find this time of year is there's certain spots that hold a lot of fish. Whether there's those little drop offs or those hard bottom pieces because this fish really patch up this time of year. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's actually a big one. Yep. No, I get it. I get it. That's four pounder. Oh man, that's a good one. Oh, that's a freaking football. Caught me a four pounder. I can't even grip his head. Oh my God. Come on guys. And they say drop shot only catch a small fish. Delton, Delton can speak for you. I'll put the camera on him in a minute. Yeah, one, they say drop shot catch a small fish. Most of the tournaments I've won have been on a drop shot. And that's almost four pound fish right there. It's probably three and a half to be safe. That is a beautiful bass. Just like what I said, I will not hard bottom. Now, if you guys think it's over, you're crazy. Remember where you caught that fish. Make the same cast on that spot and we're gonna catch another one. But that is a beautiful three and a half pound bass right there. That is a good one. There we go, almost a four pounder. <laughs> the pressure is so high today. Delton, you witnessed it, bro. It's insane, man. And we're gonna Three do it again. On a drop Same shot. cast. You, you guys are gonna watch it. I told Dylan, he put down the camera. I said, hold on, there's one more thing I gotta talk about. That drop off's good. That hard bottom can sometimes be even better. Well, Dalton, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> tell the people, like out of your last five fishing trips, pond fishing, how has it been out here? It's been super tough. I have been fishing, probably the last two times I went fishing, didn't get a single bite. And the uh, couple times before that, I got a couple of bites. They were all small, small fish, maybe less than a pound. It's just been really, really tough here lately. We just had a big cold front come through, full moon come through, everything about it right now. It's just tough conditions. It's it's almost impossible to catch one. Thank you for telling the people that the fishing's been tough because people like to say, Noah, you're just fishing places that are so easy. And this place is actually a place you don't get more than five bites a day. So it's like one of those things. And the fishing has been tough. This is just a proven concept to catch more fish if you follow these instructions that we're talking about today. And for all you people who think that Noah fishes private ponds, that only he's allowed to fish, you're thinking wrong because me and him fish the same place and I can't catch anything. He can't catch anything. It's actually really tough, guys. I promise. We just caught that fish. I showed you right there. Now, this is going to be even crazier. This is going to blow your mind even more. We're going to make that same exact cast and catch another fish because this time of year, like I was talking about, they stack up on that stuff. So we're going to get Delton rigged up on a drop shot. We're going to get him to cast that out there and he's going to catch a fish I don't, I don't in the remember. same exact spot. I'm going to tell you exactly where to cast. You cast in that no, 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 same no. Here's, exact here's spot. Here's the issue, man. What's Here, that? Here's the issue. When we went on the boat last time. Yeah. Um, I lost the lucky hat. So. Oh, you don't have the lucky hat. I don't, hat. Lucky I don't hat know. Anymore, I'm, uh, man, so I don't know. We'll catch anything. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Uh, All right, Dylan's rigging up right now. I'm just gonna beam one out here off this uh, drop off. I'm gonna let him cast back on that hard spot because they should be stacked up. <laughs> Guys, this pond. Listen, my record out here is five fish in one day, and one of the days I stayed out here for like six, seven hours, and. The other day, one of the last episodes, I caught over 20 just because the fishing conditions are so tough. It's just unbelievable. You throw the right bait and you know where these fish are located, you can do anything. And that's when I see those comments of you guys, you know, saying you can't catch them. That's why I really want to make these videos because I just know they're so valuable. And like this is one of those videos I just don't want you guys to skip through at all because I know how much value is in this. And if you go do exactly what I'm doing and you pick a part where those fish are located, you'll catch them like this. There he is. Next cast, first cast out there. 
<laughs> you find those fish stacked up, guys. This is how that winter winter stuff works. Those fish are going to be condensed on some of the best spots, some of those deepest holes, some of those hard bottoms. If you find it, you just keep catching them. A small one. But I'm going to get Delton on a big one now. I'm going to go out and then drop off. There he is. I got him. Yes. Throw on out there. Ooh, <laughs> Whew. Dang. Gosh, man. There we go, guys. Out there on that flat. Slow. Dude, I was barely dragging it. I saw that, dude. Like, very slow. That was, an, that was a pretty awesome looking hook set. You, you I grabbed the end of my rod. He was watching and just watching his wrist go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like grabbing the butt of my rod and just kind of putting it in their lip. This, these hooks get them pretty good, though. Not a bad one. Just a little guy. They're stacked out there, though. That's about where Delton had his bite. Right here on this flat. I felt some hard bottom, and sure enough, he was right there. I'm sorry, man. That was bad. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to respool now. That was not good. That was not good. Can you get it out? Is there any possible way? I don't think there's any possible way, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. dude. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Delton, this is my Christmas present to you. Just hooks up. I'm not even kidding. No one's going to judge you. Uh, real, 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 real. You got him. Oh Get, my God, it's big. Get stand up. <laughs> stand up. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. How big is he? He's a solid two. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was going to come off. I was like, no. Dude, he's barely hooked. <laughs> I handed you the rod and you're like, what do I do? <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. I was like, Why are you handing me a rod? <laughs> Your first reaction, you like looked at me for a second, like what's happening, what? and then you just realized there was a fish on it. <laughs> that was so funny. That's my that was my Christmas present for you. <laughs> I know you've been going through a lot with that thing. I was yeah, like, I'm gonna give him yeah. the next fish. I've, I've got it out now. That's why I've been standing next to you. I was like, I'm just gonna oh. hand it to you. I was like, why are you standing so close? To me? <laughs> All right, well. Not a bad one, not big, but we, not bad. We, we considered that a double up since you caught the fish and I hooked. I guess, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah it was pretty cool. You you just finish it out, you know. I got on a bite, you finish it out, so I guess a double. Up. Okay, all right. Stop it, but you keep on shopping